Hello there, welcome back to Loop Hero. So, uh, following the seemingly infinite resources from the last video, I'm going to now have a little bit of uh, endorphin generator by decomposing en masse. Um, actually, I'll turn this down a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's see. I probably won't go... Oh, that is... There's something satisfying about that. Um, yeah, I'll probably go down to like maybe a thousand. <laughs> I'm thinking how much I would need realistically. I mean, I'm not going to need a thousand stable metal to upgrade everything, so... Yeah, I think I should get this done. I will just let it play out a little bit. Hmm. So, if we need this, yeah, this is, I think, maybe a bit overkill. Um, I suppose... I don't even, at this point, you don't even need the skulls, so there's no... They cost a thousand each for good reason, but yeah, I'm not going to need them. So I'll skip ahead uh, just a little bit, 1,500, and then we'll see how much we can upgrade by just buying like 100 of each or something like that. So yeah, I'll skip ahead a little bit. Okay, that's that's enough for now. Um, I do feel like DF though, <laughs> whenever I do that though. Um, with all the auto clicker games. So, let's go ahead. I'll get maybe like 50 of each, starting with the most expensive things. Um, I think it should be fine. Oh, that is, that is even more satisfying. Okay, that uses a lot. Whew. You know what? It's gonna be, I might need to do it again at this rate. Okay, I didn't know that was going to be so interesting, the noises they each make. Um, yeah. Okay, that makes a good noise. I think this one's the best. I'll skip forward a little bit more. Okay then, let's see how this one sounds. Cool. Um, surprisingly, more... I, I didn't think I'd get through 2,000 worth, 2,000's worth of hydrogen, but I suppose... 50 of each is probably enough to get most things done. Um, someone, someone could so easily make make a great soundtrack out of that. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of wish I was popular enough for someone to just pick that up and do it. Okay, I think I think I think we're ready to go. Nothing is saying I can't. Building wise, I don't actually need to build anything else. Everything else is um there's no limits. Oh I should really build more mud huts. But let's start with Well, let's start with my favourite, which is the watchtowers. They now have four range. Oh, that is max level. What a great structure. Um, huh, interesting. Oh, so I've hit my first little hurdle. 
Um, it should be fine though. This will be good to level up. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, um, that's all the watchtower's done. And I think the war camp next. Is that oh okay that's maxed. Uh that's maxed. Apothecary hurt. This should be maxed. Okay. I think Oh yeah, I suppose that. There's not really there's not really any other unlocks to get. Um what else do I need? Need a lot of that. Okay then. That's uh, that's almost everything of of useful effect. Um, yeah, that that that's that's not incredibly well. It's it's good, but I think the main things that obviously the war camp and the watchtowers, the fact that those watchtowers can do four tiles away at max strength is pretty insane. Um, it'll make the it'll make completing the actual final chapter much easier. Um, so yeah, I think. Well, I'll skip forward. I'll upgrade this, everything and try and fill the map. And yeah, we'll see how much I can get it completed. So I I went ahead. I've filled the map. Um, mostly farmland anyway, but importantly, mud huts everywhere. Um, I now, because I've got the materials to do so anyway, I'll be able to fill these up completely full. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can do some interesting things, especially with the food. I mean, it should be, it should be pretty insane with that entire thing full. Yeah, I wonder how easy the game would be with everything full, everything maxed out. It's interesting. Um, now, also, I've almost unlocked every bit of lore. I'm only missing a few things. Um, everything's been unlocked, as in I've spent the um, book of memories on them. But there's a few things. I, I, I'm not even sure what the goblin camp alternate is it shouldn't take long to find and I've not a clue what that is oh I know what it is it's jellyfish I need to fight a siren on the third or fourth chapter and it's got to have that ability um, interesting should be easy to get and that's the last boss so there's really not much else um, I'll end this video here anyway it was just a update and showing what the max things are so 20% hero strength, that's 40% campfire healing. Hmm. Okay, that's 10% max HP on potions, but that's just ramped up by anything on one of the furnitures. Um, yeah, I think the best things to upgrade first is is of course the watchtowers, just because it will make it a lot easier. But I'll end it here anyways, um, thank you for watching, and 